So this next story really highlights so much about what's wrong with our politics and with our media. So this is from Mediaite. A reporter from a reporter for Bloomberg News was reassigned after the news organization received a phone call from the CEO of Wells Fargo complaining about said reporter. According to CNN, Shaheen Nasirapour, who had extensively covered Wells Fargo in multiple reports months ago, had written one particular report on the bank being the go-to for the United States gun industry. Following the release of that report, Wells Fargo CEO Timothy Sloan sent around an internal memo addressing this relation relationship. It was obtained by the Wall Street Journal, but when Nasirapour asked for a copy of the memo, he was declined. He was denied, excuse me. Following the conversation, a member of the Wells Fargo Public Relations team contacted Carolyn Gage, the global executive editor for finance at Bloomberg News. Gage then asked Nasirapour to apologize to the Wells Fargo Public Relations team for his conduct during the call. Nasirapour agreed to do so and did. So this dude was reassigned for doing his job. He reported a story about how the gun industry goes to Wells Fargo. And he was taken off of covering Wells Fargo. And he was forced to apologize. Why? Why? Well, we know why. The answer is, the CEO of Wells Fargo said, I don't like the way you're covering me. This is negative press. I don't want negative press. I don't want negative I want positive press. So, get off my ass. I'm going to call your boss. That's what he did. He called his boss. And things are going to change here. So, in other words, our media has now become anti-media. The whole point of the media is supposed to be give people facts and information and hold the people in power accountable. Hold politicians accountable, the government, hold uh, Wall Street CEOs and big banks and important industries that control your life, hold them responsible and make sure that there's no foul play going on there. But now you have the media kowtowing to the will of big banks. And of course we know they kowtow to politicians as well all the time because they want access. So... Uh, again, I don't know why this isn't a giant story. This is a huge story. Well, I know why this isn't a huge story, because other mainstream media outlets are probably kowtowing to the big banks and politicians as well, so they're not going to report on this. They're like, oh, yeah, whatever, we've done that too, so shh. But your media is now an anti-media. They took somebody and basically demoted him for doing his job. That's what that is. Oh, you're doing your job, Sorry. Uh, you shouldn't be covering them in a negative light. You shouldn't be so harsh by giving people facts and information. And by the way, it was Wall it was uh, Wells Fargo that uh, had that giant scandal how they opened all these fake accounts to puff up their numbers. Uh, and it was a giant scandal about them defrauding so many people. And now all of a sudden they're running commercials talking about, oh, we've turned a page and now we're not going to be rampant, disgusting criminals. They're literally running commercials like, oh, that is our bad. Fresh start, please. But now look at what's going on. Oh, shit, you covered... You uncovered more wrongdoing on our part. Uh, we're going to have to have you demoted. What a shame. Again, listen, I should be thanking them from my perspective. Because even though I'm a douchebag, loudmouth YouTuber, you have now made it so that I am viewed as some ultimate arbiter of truth. Because all I... Do, uh, at least I have taken the stance and I'm of the mindset that truth comes above all else. So, therefore, I don't care if I piss off somebody in Wells Fargo. I don't care if I piss off somebody in the government. Now, I don't, I'm not doing investigative reporting because I don't have the resources nor the ability or any of that stuff. But they are now so bad. The media is now so bad that they've left the door wide open for anybody to come through and... Just be more truthful, which isn't hard to be more truthful than the mainstream media, and all of a sudden you're viewed as like a hero. Which, again, isn't a reflection of how good 
we are, it is more of a reflection of how objectively bad they are. And, man, is that terrible for the country, because we need investigative reporting. We need hardcore journalists, like, really exposing what's happening. So that, then, assholes like me can come out here and run my mouth about it and expose it to a wider audience. But, you know, Shaheen was doing a good job, but he was pulled off the case, and then I would have never apologized if I was him, but he did apologize. So I guess he didn't lose his job because of that, but I'm sure if he didn't apologize, he would have lost his job. So, uh, now in mainstream media, you get demoted if you do your job properly. 